joining us to this uh, lesson, uh, a Christian lesson. We are appreciating God for you. You can kindly subscribe. God bless you for that. And uh, today we are going to look at uh, the interesting topic that the interesting topic that will improve you, that will increase you in faith. So this is the title that we have for today, or the topic, or the theme. The theme is saying, um, this is why you have to be like Jesus. Today we have got men of God and women of God who want to be like other men of God and women of God. You may you may love their, their anointing upon their lives, but you may not know their character. You may love the anointing upon their lives, but you cannot know their secret life. What matters is the secret life that we have. In Matthew 7 verse 21, the Bible says that not everyone who goes to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of God. Uh, maybe the men of God, the women of God, you are admiring to be like them. Um, they are going to go to hell. So as you are admiring them to, to be like them, you will be like them in both spiritually and in, the, uh, in physically. Mind you that any man of God, uh, you, you may know, they have, got, uh, they have got both the flesh and the body. They have got both the flesh and the body. Uh, in Galatians uh, 3 verse 3, the Bible says that uh, you foolish Galatians, uh, you started with the spirit and you are ending up with the flesh. And we know the fruit of the flesh according to Galatians 5 verse 18. The Bible says that drunkenness, jealousy, envy, whatsoever, bad things, they are the fruit of the, uh, they are the, fruit, uh, of the flesh. So I'm saying this is why you have to be like Jesus. Jesus is the sinless person. Jesus is the man who was born from uh, one woman is the man who was born from just a woman, just a woman physically. Jesus, he was the word according to John 1 verse 1. The Bible said that in the beginning was the word and the word was God and the word was God. On verse 14 he said, um, is the word that later, he is the word that became the fresh. So now our interest is on this one. So I'm begging every person, watching every person in this room and every person will be joining us. Uh, we, we will mainly, uh, we will mainly the book of Luke. Oh, um, I will start with the, this is why you have to be like Jesus. I will start with um, those who are writing, as who are watching. I will start with this one. If you are not seeing it clearly, it is Mark 1, verse 80. Uh, Mark 1, verse 35 to 37. This was the time when Jesus did a lot of miraculous. Then he, uh, on, the, on the same verse, before you reach the seven, the Bible says that he, as it was still dark, Jesus left the place on the street five. He left the place as people were still asleep. He left the place and he went to pray. Then the people began to look for him. On the seven, they, they found him. Then they said, everybody is looking for you. So if you cannot be like Jesus, none of the people look for you. They found him and, they, and said, every person is looking for you. So woman of God, man of God, be like Jesus so that every person may start looking for you. Why you have to be like Jesus? The other point is Mark, uh, Mark 3 uh, verse 11. The Bible says, Mark 3 verse 11. The Bible says, um, whenever demons meet Jesus, he will not cast them. Themselves would bear themselves and say that they would bow before Jesus and say that this is the Son of God, this is the only one of God. So we are fighting with demons today. Reason is because we want to be like men of God, not like Jesus. Jesus was anointed of God. So whenever they are the demons, ears of Jesus, they could bow down and they say that Jesus is the only one of God. So if you be like that man of God, if he's a, an adulterer, whenever demons uh, uh, sees you, they will be uh, revealing the secret that stop adultery. Mark 9 verse 1 to 9. Uh, Mark, 1 verse, uh, Mark 9 verse 1, the Bible talks about Jesus uh, beginning from 2 to 9. Mark 9 beginning from 2 to 9. Uh, you understand that it's, uh, it was the time when uh, Jesus took his three disciples, uh, Peter, John, and James. They went to, to a certain mountain. On that mountain, uh, the transfiguration began to happen. The transfiguration such that um, the, the garment of Jesus changed, changed to white. The garment of Jesus changed to white and suddenly Elijah and Moses appeared. On verse 4, they, were, they began to talk with Jesus. They began to talk with Jesus. Then Peter and John, uh, they saw Elijah and Moses. Who in the past Elijah, we know that Elijah was taken uh, was taken to heaven. In 2 Kings 2, verse 11, he was taken to heaven. And he, uh, in Deuteronomy 34, verse 4, um, Moses was told that he's going to die. In Jude 1, verse 9, the Bible says, uh, the archangel Michael began to fought about the body of Moses. The Moses who uh, they wrote that he died, he appeared again on the mountain. This is to show us that he, there was a relationship, there was a class like in these people. Then the 
There are other points that we are going to, to say it is a twenty six verse thirty five. Twenty six verse thirty five. Jesus said, "I'm the blade of life. I'm the blade of life." So if you are like Jesus, you'll be the blade to other people. You'll be the providence to other people. Whenever people see you, they'll be seeing a blade. Why am I saying it? Uh, they'll be seeing a blade? You have to be... Um, I don't know why I'm saying you have to be like Jesus. In John 14 verse 6, the Bible says, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Same John, uh, John 8 verse 32. In here he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. 28 verse 32, he said, if you know the truth and the truth shall set you free. So when you know Jesus, um, because it's the truth, he's going to set you free. He's going to set you free. You have to be like Jesus. In Luke 2, in Luke 2 verse 30, the Bible says uh, there was a man by the name of um, Simon who was living in the priest, was told that you not die until you see the salvation. At this point was the time when um, he sees the salvation, then he said, my eyes have seen the salvation. He could not see the word salvation. He saw a baby Jesus. He praised that baby Jesus who came with Joseph and Mary. Then he said, my eyes have seen um, I've seen the salvation. So if you be like Jesus, whenever people see you, they'll be seeing a salvation. If you be like Jesus, whenever people see you, they'll be seeing uh, they'll be seeing the work of Jesus in you. 2014 verse 12, the Bible says, We shall do greater things than what he did when you become like Jesus. Because there was something in Jesus that could make a demon to be afraid. Uh, Mark 11, uh, Mark 5. Uh, the C1. The Bible says that uh, the, Jesus he reached at the place called uh, Gerison. When he reached at that place, he found a man on the graveyard, and that man was tormented by a lot of demons. He was tormented by a lot of demons. Uh, because he was uh, tormented by a lot of demons, he said, uh, Jesus, what do you want with us? So they recognized Jesus. They recognized Jesus that Jesus, he was the Holy One of God. On the seven, uh, that demon. Those people in that area, because when the demon entered pig, uh, the pig committed suicide, about 1,000 pigs, they committed a suicide. Then the people said, Jesus, we do not want you here. We do not want you here. Why? Because Jesus was fighting demons. Jesus was fighting devils. That's the reason why we are saying you have to be like Jesus, not to be like Patrick, not to be like uh, other men of God, because other men of God, they have got some weaknesses. Jesus doesn't have uh, the weaknesses. I know those who are joining us, we are talking about this topic. Uh, the reason why you have to be like Jesus, we have talked to a, a lot of things. Um, in Mark, in uh, the same Mark, the same Mark 5, verse 25, the Bible says, as Jesus was, uh, the reason why we are saying be like Jesus, uh, we have to want this, uh, Mark 5, verse 25 to 30. Before I say this, I know I've already said uh, Mark 9, verse 4. That's when uh, Jesus came on the mountain. Uh, because the transfiguration was happening, the Jesus cloth turned to white and he was covered by the cloud. That white uh, symbolizes uh, holiness. So because he turned, uh, the garment of Jesus turned into white. Why am I matching this Mark 9 with uh, Mark 5, 25? It was the time. Here we talked about the garment of Jesus uh, turned to white. Uh, then Mark 5, verse, beginning from 22, uh, 22, you understand that Jairus, the leader, uh, the leader of the synagogue, followed Jesus and said that my daughter, she's ill. Then Jesus, as he was going on the way on 25, Mark 5, uh, the certain woman saw Jesus. She heard a lot about uh, Jesus. Then she had a discharge of blood. She spent all she had on the physician. On that day, she said to herself that when I touch the garment of Jesus, I'll be healed. And when she touched the garment of Jesus, because of the light that the garment caught, when the light appeared, when the light appeared, and that woman was healed, then Jesus said, somebody has touched me. Then the disciple began to say, we are, we are a lot here. Yes, we may be a lot in the kingdom of God. If you are, you, you'll be like Jesus, anyone who is going to touch you, they are going to be healed. When you talk of... Um, we are talking of uh, the old prophet uh, Elisha when uh, the the, bone, the bones of Eli Elisha in the grave touched with the bones of that dead person. The Bible says he became a living being. Why? Elisha was like Jesus. So we have to claim to be like Jesus. We have to be to be trying to be like Jesus. And when we are like Jesus, everything is going to be well. In Mark 2, uh, verse 17, because Jesus um, is love himself, in verse 24, Oh, this eight. The Bible says that Jesus is uh, love. So, at this moment, 
When we begin from 16, we are going to understand that uh, Jesus was found eating with the sinners. Then when the people, the Pharisees saw him, they told his disciples that, why is your teacher eating with sinners? This is the response, uh, this is why I gave the response to Jesus. He said that, uh, I came, that, uh, there is no need for a doctor to those who are well. I, do, I didn't come for the sick, I, I didn't come for the well, I came for the sick. I came for sinners. So if you are like Jesus, you share love with other people. Mark 12 verse 24. This is when Jesus was giving um, uh, the Jews uh, to people and said that you are drinking my blood. Then the other scripture I've not touched to, it is um, Act 9 verse 1. It was the time when Paul got the letters to go and to persecute the churches. As he approached Damascus, the Bible says, uh, the light suddenly came upon him. Then the people who not see the light, himself is the one who saw the light. Because he had an encounter with Jesus. Then he said, who are you, Lord? He, then the Lord said, I'm Jesus, uh, you are persecuting. When they say it, Paul, after he has become blind, he was told that go to the priest Ananias. He will be told what to do. So if you are like Jesus, even killers will listen to you. If you are like Jesus, even a prostitute will listen to you. This Paul doesn't mean that it was the first time to hear Jesus. He was even hearing Jesus as he was going to persecute churches. So today our voice has got no power because we are not like Jesus. Demons obey you when you are like Jesus. Mark 9 verse 29, the Bible says, when they failed to cast out the devil, then they were told that um, some things can only come out by fasting and prayer. So Jesus was a man of prayer. So if I'm claiming to be like Jesus, meaning I have to be the man of prayer. If you are like Jesus, you be you turn into a word. John 1 verse 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. And the word was God. The God who doesn't change is still the word. In uh, 2 Timothy 3 verse 16, the Bible says, um, All scriptures are inspired by God. So there is an inspiration in scripture. There is a breath of life in the scripture. You cannot die here if you are go the scriptures. Uh, Romans 10, verse 10 to 17. On verse, beginning from 19, uh, the Bible says that uh, by confessing and believing in their heart, somebody will be saved. On verse 13, it says, when you call upon the name of Jesus, you are going to be saved. Verse 17, faith comes by hearing. So, we can only hear if somebody he has got the way. If somebody has got the way to so as for you who have just been joining join us we are looking at you the reason why you have to be like jesus we saw what jesus did don't you try to be like me how do you know what what is my secret life be like jesus because i can be sent by my mom maybe i can refuse so if you try to be like me you get disobedience Better I try to be like Jesus. If you are seeing a Jesus in me, try to be like that one which is in me. 